got pulled over by Mississippi's finest. <laughs> there ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got your mind on. In half a mile, turn right onto the I-10 West ramp to Mobile. The Commercial Free Workforce Lunch, sponsored by Butch Cassidy's on a two for Tuesday on 96 one The Rocket. Turn right onto the I-10 West ramp, then merge onto I-10 West. signs for bird stops, of course, all along the bay, I would imagine, are good locations. So, those of you adding this to your bucket list, it's a nice route. I like it. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really glad I came this way. It's all my way back to the middle of the country. Shaking things up. Doing things different. Okay, here we go. I'm getting back on the interstate. Cool. That was a nice detour. by Mississippi's finest. <laughs> Apparently, I'm swerving in 40 mile an hour winds. I mean, really. I, seriously, it's windy as hell out. It's been windy as hell along the Gulf Shore since I got here. And when the trucks pass me, like right now, when the trucks pass me, <sighs> I've never been pulled over, I don't think, in, the, in an RV, ever. I think that was my first time. And he said, well, I just wanted to make sure you weren't falling asleep. Okay. Yeah, it's windy out and I'm driving a billboard. <laughs> that was funny. No ticket. It's all good. We're out in full force today. End of the month, gotta make that quota. It's just a dog. 
Oh my gosh, these trees. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. I'm afraid they're low. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what are you seeing? What are you seeing to the dog? Do you, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? I just cannot get over how big this thing is. How far it sprawls. Look at it. It's just ginormous. Peter Cousins, 2011. Oh my gosh. I was just thinking when I saw Cousins. Um, his name was Peter, one of my all-time favorite instructors in Schenectady Community College. I'm pretty sure it was Peter. He was my, I think it was creative writing or English. I'll always remember his advice, keep writing, keep writing. And he was uh, tough, but really helpful me a better writer. Should pursue writing. Everybody's like, you can't make a living out of it. People live back here. Wow, look at the built-in cupboards, the fireplace. Wow, look at those windows. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a creepy feeling. <laughs> what I say, girl? There's something about old in the South. I don't know what it is that just feels older. Look at these. Oh my God, I 
I love these trees. I wonder how old it is. Wow. Oh my gosh. Walking down these power lines from where I camped at the boat ramp. See? I stumbled upon that house. Of course, I was thinking one could boondock back here. <laughs> it's an easement. Oh, here we go, though. A sign. A neighborhood. Probably. Yep, and some private property. City girl. see a house. All right, come on, say it, girl. I mean, <laughs> and this tree. Oh my God. It's, are these, they are oaks, right? Oh my God. I am in love with these trees. I want one. <laughs> Look at it, how big these arms come out. It's insane. Can't see any leaves. I can't get close enough to any leaves. They don't look like oak leaves. Cypress? No. Okay, I'll have to look them up. Oh, here. Yep. I just used my picture of this app. It's a Southern Live Oak. Uh, they're just, I just can't get over They're breathtaking. <laughs> I mean, all the trunks and how big they are and how far they go out. I mean, imagine the root system on that thing. I'm just in awe. Every time I come down here, I remember seeing one... In Florida, I was camped in the outside of o Ocala National Forest, I think it was. And I think that might have been the first time I was really up close and personal with one. They're just amazing. You know, I've never been down in the south in the fall or the winter. This is really nice. I've only been, gosh, I've been to Louisiana twice, at least twice. Maybe a few, uh, I, at least once I know of in my RV and once on my road trip after college. And always in the summer when it's hot, hot, hot. So this is really nice. I'm happy. I chose this route. Something kind of new. It's beautiful. We're going, is that a garbage can up there? Oh, it is. The people got their garbage out. So, come on, say girl. There's a nice walking path, but no pets allowed. Come on. This is where I spent the night. Nice and quiet. Boat ramp. Got here at four, I think. And uh, there were quite a few trucks and trailers here with boats out fishing. But and then a couple cars after dark. But right after dark. But other than that, it's quiet. Except there is a, hi a highway apparently not too far away because you can really hear that. But I'm really worried about Sadie getting too close to the water. So I'm on the bayou.
I slept on the bayou. I've always wanted to be on the bayou. Another thing off my bucket list. I need coffee. Don't worry, I don't think that dog is getting attacked by an alligator. That's what I thought when I first got here last night. When we our first walk when we got here. It sounded like something was eating it. But they must be chained up and they just do that every once in a while. Horrible. Horrible bark. I almost didn't stay because of it. Because it was just kind of giving me an icky feeling. But they're hound dogs. They sound like the dogs I hear hunting down this part of the country. The coon hounds. Goodbye, you. I've always wanted to go on a boat ride through these, through the bayou, through the swamps. I need to do that one of these days. <clears throat> that would be so fun. <laughs> Just gotta smell a pine. Just can't stop looking at it and taking pictures of it. Curbside pickup. Woohoo! I got a new generator. All right. What do you think? All right, got my generator. So the next stop is Whole Foods. My first Whole Foods in months. <laughs> I'm really excited. So I'm gonna pick up a couple of groceries and then I'm heading to a state park. But first, I think I might have to find some beignets. Mm-hmm. Disappointing. I should have gone into uh, New Orleans and Cafe de Mon. They're okay. A little tough. Next left, then turn left. Alright, I made it to Lake Faust Point State Park 
and uh, without a reservation there's gonna be rain for the next few days I didn't feel like driving in it so and I just picked up my generator so I gotta set up the generator I wanted to be plugged in so I have plenty of power for the cloudy rainy days to come and it really far out of the way it's 40 minutes from Baton Rouge is that where I was yeah and uh, gosh half hour down this windy levee road it's kind of cool and they let me come in and choose my site and I chose one not on the water I actually drove around to find the one that would have the best Starlink coverage and I just set everything up uh, and uh, yeah, I set everything up and the Starlink is working. It's a little obstructed, but it's working. I'm able to stream and everything. We'll see how it goes for loading videos. That's always that's always the, the big one for me. I mean, I can stream, but upload speeds can be really, really, really bad. So we'll see how long I stay. I just got two nights for now, just in case I can't work with what I have. And we'll take it day by day. But can you hear it? It's beautiful. Full of life right in the middle of the swamp. I'm on site 19, $20 a night plus fees. So it was like $56, I think, something like that for two nights. And I just have electric and water. They have full sites and they have sites on the, on the water for more, but I don't need to be right on the water. It gives me, yeah, I mean, I spend so much time inside anyway and I'm not gonna sit out. I wanna be right on the water. I'll go for a walk and explore it. And, hang out with my dog especially because there are some mosquitoes out here so I'm not really gonna be sitting out too much plus you know that big old four-letter word W that begins with a W <laughs> uh, but it's been nice this trip I'm uh, I am because I've decided to just go ahead and spend the money and stay in, in parks, mostly, I'm looking for mostly Corps of Engineer sites, but a lot of them in some parts of the country, where was I, Virginia, a lot of them were closed. Virginia and Tennessee, they were, a lot of them were closed for the season. And uh, I did stay in a Corps of Engineers. I stay in a, I, yeah, I've made videos about them, but they're not that great in this part of the country. They're, they're not as spread out as some of the ones I'm used to and, uh, yeah, they, they are less expensive and they're good, but uh, it's the state park. I mean, it's kind of nice not stressing myself out. I must find boondocking, must find free camping. It's only money. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sucks. I, I don't like spending the money, but sometimes you just have to pay for your serenity, right? Uh, everything has a cost, whether it's dollars or time or sanity and stress level right everything has a cost and uh, sometimes the cost is too high on your emotional well-being for what you actually pay in dollars does that make sense so all right i'm looking forward to exploring the park with sadie lots of hiking trails surrounded by water and swamp it's awesome i'm on the bayou this is a bucket list for me i've always wanted to see the bayou so this is a bucket list for me i'm excited check it out i got my hands on my very own 2024 carolyn's rv life calendar they're beautiful they're as beautiful as you all say they are and good news is i have a few left check out the link in the video description below to get your 2024 limited edition calendar uh, it's $27, including shipping and handling, $34 to ship internationally. Supplies are running out. They're not going to last much longer, so get yours all right. today. Finish my coffee, start my stay, take you all along with me.
This is insane. It's been raining so hard for a long time. We have no cell signal down here at all. I guess I could plug my Starlink in. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. And I keep thinking, maybe I shouldn't have chosen a place surrounded by water to ride out several days of rain in Louisiana. This is a lot of rain. They need it. They're in a drought. But that doesn't make me feel any better surrounded by water. December 1st. <laughs> well, I'm back in summer like weather. <laughs> Did not expect this, to be honest with you. What a night. But check outside, it's beautiful. So they have hiking trails here and canoe trails with backcountry campsites that you have to reserve. So you can only stay in very specific spots and you have to reserve them. Um, but you can rent canoes. You, you can bring your own. That's pretty cool. I would love to do that. I'm not going to do it this trip. No fun in the rain and no fun without Sadie. Adult American alligators average 6 to 12 feet in length. They eat birds, fish, and even whole turtles. Alligators live in swampy areas in the southeastern U.S. The female lay eggs in a large nest made from marsh grasses and mud. Heat produced from the rotting vegetation incubates the eggs. Huh. 
so the mother doesn't sit on them. Interesting. So I got here yesterday to look at our reservation. I had been scouting where my next camp was going to be and looked at a bunch of state parks and uh, I don't know. They all had good and bad reviews and I was feeling really indecisive and then finally I was like, you know what, I'm just going to drive and figure it out when I need to. And also the state park reservation system would not allow me to make a reservation for the next day, only the day after that. So, But there were plenty of reservations available for the following day so I figured if I just showed up it would be fine and it's almost empty. It's way out of the way. And when I checked in, I asked about alligators, just like the last campsite I was at on the Mississippi. I asked the fisherman about alligators. He said I didn't have to worry about them there. And what they told me here when I checked in, she said it's kind of cold for them now. They might come out on a sunny day and uh, sun themselves on a rock. You might see one in the sun. So if the sun is out, she said, just watch out. And of course, Sadie just has to be on a leash all the time anyway. It's pouring right now. Radar said it was supposed to be passing. And of course I left a window open. My bed is getting soaked right now. I'd run for it, but Sadie is miserable and, and rain is heavy. Well, it wasn't letting up, so we had to hurry back in the rain. Oh my God. It, they don't joke around here with their rain. <laughs> It's a little wet. Just my pillows. Oh, yeah. It's not horrible. Okay. Alright, not horrible. It'll dry, maybe, in this 99% humidity. <laughs> You're a wet dog. You're a wet dog. You want me to, come here. Wanna dry off? I'll get you dried off. Come on. Here, come up the come up here. Come on, up, up. Good girl. See the wet dog. Oh, she's the wet dog. We got caught in the rain. We got caught in the rain. Yes, we did. So now the sun's out. Your face. Can I see your face? Oh my goodness. You just, yes. I know. Now my turn. Oh, mosquito skinny.
Hey. This, folks, is how you make a fat vegan. <laughs> I actually have a shirt that I got at a vegan festival. Fat vegan. Happy fat vegan. I've never worn it. It's in the cupboard somewhere. I've never, literally never worn it. <laughs> Some people just don't understand how vegans can be fat. Apparently they don't understand basic nutrition.
Wow, that's good. Wow. And it's night two on the bayou. <laughs> this rain, though. It doesn't just rain a little bit here, apparently. Well, it kind of kind of does all day long. But then it comes down like this. Oh, my goodness. You can't see it. Holy crap. And it's hot. 69 degrees. 9.30. Had to run the AC today. Wasn't ready for all this. <laughs> I thought it was winter, even down here. I guess this is winter down here, so. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thunder, lightning, it's not bad. Or a new name for Tennessee or where am I Louisiana the sauna state <laughs> so last night uh, we had a tornado watch we had a flood warning I pulled up the National Weather Service and this area the night before I estimated three inches because I had no idea got between two and nine inches and the closest area that I could find a little north of here said 5.2 inches the night before. And last night we were supposed to get like another four and uh, heavy, heavy thunderstorms between like two and four. I kept waking up, uh, left the Starlink on just in case any uh, alerts came through and I'm laying in bed wondering, is there gonna be a siren if there's a tornado? And I was happy to be in a campground. I figure if anything happens, I'll know you know, with people around and state park and stuff like that. So, but nothing happened. In fact, the storm we were supposed to get didn't even really come. It didn't rain nearly as hard last night as it did the night before. So, uh, yeah. And the sun was out a little bit this morning, but I hear thunder rumbling in the distance and let's get more rain today. So I'm going to stay two more days. Well, it appears I got a night free. I, I kept insisting that I didn't pay for tonight, that today is the departure date. And she kept insisting I paid for tonight. I didn't, I paid for two nights. And I went around and around several times and she kept saying, no ma'am, you paid. No ma'am, you paid. <laughs> I'm like, I only paid $56. No, but it shows you paid. Okay. <laughs> 
three nights. No, four nights for the price of three. I'll take it. See? I said, she said, tonight's paid for. I said, are you sure it was me who paid for it? Yes, ma'am. Carolyn Higgins. Yes, ma'am. Knowing my luck, somebody's going to come along later saying it's their site. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he was flipping around. Come on, stop. Now he's playing dead. Stop playing dead! Last morning at Lake Faust Point State Park. It's been really nice here. Really quiet. Hasn't gotten crowded at all. I was here over the weekend. I've been here four nights and uh, hunkered down here through the heavy rain. But it's time to mosey today toward Corpus Christi to pick up my mail. I had my mail sent to a UPS store in Corpus Christi. I should have shopped around. They charge uh, three to five dollars a day a day for holding your package a day at the ups store usually it's a flat fee of three to five depending on size a day and i'm seven hours away which is about two days of driving for me so i've gotten lots of hiking in well walking around the park I think we did five miles yesterday no three miles yesterday i just edited a video that i did five miles <clears throat> so my uh, uh, time frame, you know, yeah, my percept, I don't know. <laughs> I've only had a few sips of coffee. Looking forward to finding a place where Sadie can run. You know, a lot of times in state parks I find areas that aren't populated where she can run, but I'm scared to death of alligators here, and I was thinking about it, you know. Um, it's just an unknown to me. I saw a couple alligators, I'm pretty sure, sticking their heads up in the water yesterday. And... Since I don't have any experience with them, I have no idea what to expect. Are they in the marshes around the campground? Uh, how far out of the water will they jump to get her? How often do they really do that? You know, all the fears you guys, many of you have about bears, I'm having about alligators because I have no experience. 
So fear comes down to lack of experience, lack of knowledge, just like I said in that video I made. So I haven't had any neighbors other than these two trailers, which have been here. That one, I think they're both hosts. They've been here the whole time, but nobody else has camped near me except uh, back over there, over there against the water. And this trailer also has been here the whole time. The bathrooms. Took a shower. The shower was halfway decent. Water wasn't quite hot enough, but the pressure was halfway decent. And they have laundry, which I would love to do some laundry, but I've just been busy, busy, busy. And if camping isn't your thing, they have beautiful cabins. Literally, like, right in the swamp on pilings. Really beautiful. And they have beautiful, big, screened-in porches. That's the way to enjoy this part of the country, even here. <clears throat> uh, December. I've had... Uh, last night, I was killing mosquitoes. We had a warm day yesterday, and the rain finally stopped. We had a ton of mosquitoes. Of course, look at me. I'm surrounded by water everywhere. That heavy rain we had... At least five inches the first night, a couple inches. Two days, we had at least seven inches of rain. So it's really soaked in a lot. Everything around here was just under, was in water. See, all that, there was water. So it's really gone down a lot. So yes, the point is when you're in the middle of a swamp, you're gonna have mosquitoes. I don't know how they had they kept coming inside but they were look it's gone down a lot the first day I was here there's a trail through here I was actually able to walk from the trail in the back up to my campsite the first day before all the rain came All right, we're packing up and hitting the road. All right, so thank you so much for hanging out with me in Louisiana on the bayou. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know below if you like these longer videos, trying to incorporate just more nature, more quiet, more sounds of my environs, environs, environment. <laughs> All right, and next time we have a lot of beach can camping for you coming up, including Padre Island. And also there is some footage that didn't make it in. The video is already almost an hour, so you can join join Patreon for free and get access to some content that I am now putting on Patreon that doesn't fit into public videos. So check that out for free in the link below. Thank you all so much for being here. Happy New Year. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Thank you. Bye.